<sighs> it's just how frustrating that was it to not cash in all those opportunities early in this game and, and throughout the series. Here. Well, it's a common theme. Uh, you know, we we find ourselves in you know alone early, get the first goal, and you know, big timely save by Ranta. You know, you know, if, again, if we if we bury that two on one, you know, things might change in a game like today when it's hard to score. They don't give you much. You get the lead. A little adversity now on their part. They've had the you know they've had their way in this building, and but didn't work out that way. And again, um, we we end up then having some breakdowns, Steve. That pride ourselves in D-zone coverage, stuff we've done very well all year, and two breakdowns that, yeah, they make plays, but more, more on us not to get the job done defensively, be in the right spots, good sticks. So that's probably where I'm most disappointed. That's how it ends up, that we give up goals on something we, you know, it's game 89, and we pride ourselves in that. Have done a very good job from top to bottom, the lineup, no matter who's in. And obviously, credit to them for finishing those plays when we weren't, you know, in the right spots. Opportunity at the other end, uh, no, I, I just think there, there was a sort of, in the first one, there was a quick sort out. You know, our gap wasn't good by our D, right? So we give them zone entry. So there, there's where a little bit where it starts. So it was a big focus of our meeting today. We thought we were much better as the series went on and being up on them, you know, forcing them to chip behind us and we'll go break pucks out as a group of five. And we weren't up, so they get entry. And then, you know, I think it was Coyle and, and Freddie just didn't sort out who's going to stay low or high. When you're coming back into your zone, sometimes a winger beats a centerman and stuff we've addressed, but it, it, it's quick. It happened quick and, and unfortunately didn't make this timely switch and they, they converted on a nice play. Bruce, what is the room like right now? Huh? What is the room like right now? Yeah, well, listen, they're not happy, Matt. They're disappointed, uh, sad. Um, you know, I can't speak for them. They're all those things. They're in a game seven have an opportunity to advance with a good group that's gotten better as the year went on, and, and you don't. Um, you know, again, I'm not going to speak for them. They'll, they'll be able to answer how, how they, they feel, but I can tell you right now they're, you know, they're disappointed that, you know, we, we weren't able to get it done. How did it change the tenor of this game, like when the whistles kind of went away in the second and third periods? Uh, you feel like the standard changed? I don't know. I don't want to get it. You know, we, we killed the first three power plays. I think that happens every time in here, doesn't it? So we did a good job with it. Um, you know, and again, there wasn't much going on. They shot one in the crowd. They have to call that late. So, but we didn't take advantage of it, right? I mean, it's a power play opportunity where we, you know, we didn't execute well enough to get back in the game, give ourselves a late push. So at the end of the day, um, you know, none of the plays on the ice that resulted in goals, I thought, were have anything to do with. You know, like I said, our D zone breakdowns cost us two of them. And then the other one was puck lock. They put it towards the net. Um, we had some of those too. I mean, I know there was a coils line, the third pier was all over the goaltender. We couldn't find it. You know, a little bit of executing. I think they had a two on one late that hopped over Charlie Stick. So you know, a little bit of that goes in. You got to execute when you get your opportunities. And they did it better than us. Bruce, with um, full respect to the fact that you just finished a tough playoff game, but well, I have no idea. To be honest. I'm not the guy to answer that. I hope not. Um, you know, he means so much to this franchise that you know we all want him back, but he, only he can answer that. And I have no inkling. I have not addressed it with him. It's not my place in the middle of the season, and um, he'll make that decision going forward. Does it sting a little more with each year that, that with these losses, knowing that you know, a couple of guys are getting? Well, f personally, you only get so many kicks at it. So there's, there, you know, there's that. And w you know, we had a, we were down in the second period of game two here. You know, I think it was four one, and things weren't going well. And there was a, you know, some messaging. You know, I know I talked to the guys about, hey, this is a good group that's gotten better as the year went on. And you know, we got to start building our game pretty soon here because you know you're going to give this team life. Even though we didn't win that game, that was the beginning of us getting back in the series. We got home, we played better, and so tonight was kind of the was going to be the end of that, right, if, of that building and, and on to the next round. But that was our goal and that was our, you know, what we discussed. And I think everybody wanted to steal. That's why they're disappointed. We just, I think I said at the start of the game, these, these, you have to execute. And we did not execute D-zone coverage well enough. They executed the plays when we broke down. And it ends up being the difference in the game. And, you know, both teams want to win. Both teams are going to lay it out there. You saw it. I mean, I think... You know, for the most part, you're trying to finish your check. You're trying to block a shot when it's your turn. There was no 
it's not like lack of effort. It's we did not execute some of the plays we we had to score some goals uh, and, and and then execute our D zone coverage. Um, why? It's frustrating for me. I said it's disappointing because it's something we, we drill into the guys we talk about every day. So going out that way, you know, another year older, um, it, it, for for different guys in the rooms, will have different feelings about it. Swayman, he's, they're all going to be disappointed, but, you know, this is a beginning for him. For other guys, it might be closer to the other end, right? So everyone's going to have a different level of, you know, how they feel about it, and rightfully so. I think when you're a young guy, you think you're going to be here every year and the playoffs ready to go. It doesn't work that way. The older guys appreciate that more. Chasing the score was obviously a, a reason here, um, you know, falling behind and then you know, chasing the game. But why, why was it difficult to generate consistent offense here? Well, it was everywhere. I mean, I, I think they would say the same thing. It's not like it was, you know, uh, we broke down in front of our goaltender for seven straight games. It's, you got the top defensive team number-wise, and I think we're fourth. So, you know, um, it wasn't going to be easy uh, and for either team. And that's why I would just believe that both teams check well. They have a will to keep the puck out of their net. They have a culture that's you know based around that. They, there's a working culture. We're a working culture. Um, you know, I thought that you know the, you know, the goaltending's good. So um, you know, f f f you know that's that's what happened in the series. It's two good defensive teams that were typically committed to it. Like I said, we had a couple breakdowns we need to be better on, but in general, both teams work hard to to defend. How would you characterize kind of that last 90 seconds, maybe, of the first period? You know, nearly held on scoreless. You give up the goal in the four minute penalty. Just did you feel like that was crucial to the losing some momentum? Yeah, I mean, you know, early on, uh, I thought we we're fine. You, you, you want to you wanna get the lead. We talked about that, but you also want to. You know, keep the game right where where you need it to be, and maybe uh, th them at home start pushing, thinking, you know what, we got to we got to get going, we got to get the first goal, the crowd, you know. So, but then, you know, it didn't like I said, we have a breakdown, then we take a, a four minute minor, that's an unfortunate. Um, do a good job killing it. Uh, so I think you know, our, like I said, killed our three penalties. I think they got one as we we're coming out of the box or close. But at the end of the day, that's not what hurt us. It was like I said, those those D zone breakdowns that should be ingrained in our group. You know, um, that end up costing us more than anything. And um, obviously, yeah, we wanted to come out of the first period in good shape. We were trending that way, but it didn't happen. Thank you, guys.